with over two decades of international and domestic experience he seen it all with 300 plus international wickets behind his back he was one of india's top all-rounders to play for the team ever with a ton of choices in hand he still chose to go with a team that had more promise than prominence irfan pathan has decided to take the next step with jammu and kashmir cricket irfan with all the choices you had in the world you could have picked any team why jammu and kashmir see i really believe that in jammu and kashmir there is a lot of potential but there is a lot to work as well and i'm a kind of guy who likes to work i'm a kind of guy who likes to you know put everything what i have and i really think i can do a lot of work uh, in jammu kashmir and uh, you know i really believe that if any any one cricketer comes out from there and represent national cricket i'll be that will give me so much satisfaction yes obviously i want to go out there and play myself and create uh, you know uh, create that image of uh, being a good mentor as well yeah there is my benefit as well but my intention is to make sure that i can make a difference to even one jammu kashmiri you know guys life uh, that will be big satisfaction for me for long period of time what was the initial meeting that you had with the association and what was the one reason that you chose okay this is what i want to do now look to be honest you know i wanted to go if i left baroda cricket which i didn't wanted to ever but because of the situation i took the decision that i have to leave and i have to go to another state uh, to play domestic cricket and i had a lot of other choices apart from the state cricket as well uh, which i didn't choose uh, and uh, when i had the first meeting uh with uh, ceo mr bukhari as well as the administrator mr justice ck prasad i really liked the way they had this intention of to do something well which actually combined well with my intention as well to work and their intention was pretty clear that they obviously they wanted to do a lot of work in jammu cricket and jammu cricket should be go ahead uh, but at the same time there is so much can uh, can be done in uh, not only jammu and kashmir cricket but with the districts around you know there's going to be there are so many small small district where even if we find one good cricketer you know there'll be job done which hasn't happened before so there's lot lot to do lot lot more to do and you know obviously they want me to work uh, start working in the start of the season but you know in in my in my view i'm going to go slightly earlier to do work and obviously it's a it's a great place uh, to go out there and explore things as well i know that there are a lot of things going on but you know those people uh, need uh, you know good support in terms of wherever they can get and uh, i'm i'm sure there are a lot of talent uh, in jammu and kashmir uh, so i think those first two couple of meeting with them uh, was wonderful and i really liked it it clicked from the start and uh, you know i'm really looking forward to the season and hopefully we'll be able to make some sort of difference obviously anything in life takes time so this as well because it's not a magic Uh, I don't have a magic uh, stick which I'm going to go out there and uh, change everything or you know put make the difference in just straight away it takes two or three years for anything but definitely there'll be a good start you are going to be not only a player but they see you in the role of a mentor they want you to shape up the young guys share your experience and bring them along to a level where they are able to make a difference in the domestic season how do you see your role extensively with the team and have you had interactions with the youngsters there and the players who are around in the circuit right now Oh, look you know i had uh, interaction with a couple of players from jammu and kashmir cricket uh, and obviously they are looking at me not only as a player but as a as a mentor as well it's just a name now right it's a tag but i've been doing that role for some time now in domestic cricket so you know, it won't be that difficult for me i'll be able to fit in that role pretty 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 quickly but this time it will be with the tag so i'm really looking forward to it and when when it's with the tag a lot of a uh, lot of players actually follow your lead as well so which which makes things much more easier uh, so everyone knows where to go uh, and i'm really excited about it uh, there's this as i said earlier there's so much to do there's so much work to do uh, and yes getting insight from some of the players is uh, pretty uh, you know pretty useful for me and uh, that will help me to shape it better as well there you will also be working with With one of India's greatest all-rounders ever, the captain who won us the first World Cup, Mr. Kapil Dev. At your prime, you were seen as somebody who could replicate him. Now you are going to work with him and share the space. What is this feeling like? Look, you know, just just meeting Kapil Paji is special feeling. You know, let alone working with him. Uh, you know, is a is a great uh, all-rounder. You know, no one is gonna. You know, no one can even come close to uh, to him in terms of achievement. He was a he was a one man. doing many things you know i wish i wish he could have been playing ipl at this time he's an all rounder batsman bowler great fielder but most importantly a great leader you know any any ipl team would die to have him you know a lot of people talk about how dhoni is a captain 
is the most successful captain in the world and in IPL as well in T20 format and a lot of people would a lot of owners said some of the things as well they will lose their clothes to actually get him but I'm sure when it comes to Kapil Dev a lot of people would actually lose their houses to get him uh, in, in, in their own team so I think uh, you know just working with him and getting his experience and getting some sort of, sort of support from him in terms of knowledge will be great help for me going ahead because you know I really think there is a there is a life obviously when you play cricket as long as you play cricket like I might be playing for another two or three years who knows uh, it might be more as well depending on the fitness but there is much more ahead you know there is so much you can do in your life you know a lot of people say that life start after 35 uh, because you can by that time you have seen everything ups and downs in life and you have so much experience you actually become much more smarter uh, so with his experience, uh, you know, I, you know, getting his experience from him towards this working with Jammu and Kashmir, that will take me a long way and I'm really excited to work with him. Talked about all the good stuff. Now, what are the challenges that you are expecting moving on with the Jammu Kashmir team? Look, obviously there are a lot of, uh, any side or any place you go new, there are a lot of challenges. A lot of hidden challenges are, are there as well. You're going to be, which you are unaware of. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ch challenges there as well. But you know, I'm a kind of guy who has traveled the world, who understand, uh, I, I really understand the, uh, more than anything, I understand the human nature as well, uh, humanity for that matter. Uh, so I understand how the how people, different people work differently and you have to accept each and every one in terms of the way they are. And Jammu and Kashmir has a, has a different set of cricket. You know, they work differently as well, even, even in their side as well. So, you know, I, I'm aware of the challenges, but I'm going to take those challenges head on and uh, I'm going to be make my way to make things better for the Jammu and Kashmir cricket. In Jammu and Kashmir, you will also have Parvez Rasool with you. He's played for India, he's played the IPL, he's led the team, he has all the experience that one needs. How do you look at this partnership with him now? Look, to be honest, when I met with, uh, you know, Justice C.K. Prasad and uh, uh, Mr. Bukhari, CEO, they wanted me to lead the side as well. But to be honest, you know, I want someone like Parvez Rasool or someone from the Jammu and Kashmir to lead the side, you know, because I want them to feel confident about the leader as well. But obviously, I'm going to be doing all the supporting role uh, from behind as much as possible. And with working with Parvez will be good fun because I have known that guy. I played with him in Sunrises, Hyderabad. Uh, so I know him well. He's a, he's a quite a quite a cool guy when it comes to you know handling the team situation as well so it's very important for me to you know get uh, get along uh, with uh, all the senior guy as well to actually get the best out of the team which is more more important because eventually it's all about the team it's not about senior it's all about junior it's all about the everyone working with the same direction with the team and i'm sure uh, whatever little conversation i had with parvez he really wanted to do something for jammu and kashmir cricket so i think that will uh, that will keep us on the same page uh, by that, uh, by the time, by the time I go there and start working, uh, so yeah, th that is very important to have a good partnership with a with a guy like Parvez Rasool and some other other prominent cricketers over there, uh, which will help me get better. After Parvez Rasool, Mansoor Dar is the second cricketer from Jammu and Kashmir to qualify for the IPL, and he was picked by uh, the Kings Eleven Punjab. How do you see his IPL going forward? Look, you know, it's a very exciting time for Jammu and Kashmir cricket because uh, Parvez played for India, and then obviously. He played IPL and Mazur Dar now has representing, uh, you know, been, uh, in uh, Kings Hill Punjab. Very exciting time for them. And, you know, I'm sure I haven't seen him play yet, but I'm sure the whatever I'm hearing, he's a very exciting big hitter. And I wish him all the luck and I'm sure he will do well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of support for him uh, from Jammu and Kashmir and all around the world as well. So, which is which is very good for him. And something like that you now want to create. Uh, not only one or two, but, you know, the more and more creator comes with the confidence. And hopefully, with my experience, I'll be able to support them. And I'm really looking forward to that. But, talking about just Masood Dar, and uh, I'm sure, you know, I'll be very happy if he, if he gets the game in IPL and uh, we get to see some exciting big shots from him. If and we would like to wish you good luck for the season moving forward and hope you achieve greater heights with Jammu and Kashmir. Thank you so much. Really looking forward to it.